This is the fabulous Franklin and South Manchester of George Celios. Now George has more than double the size of the layout with the addition of Dovertown and Bedford Falls. Dovertown is similar to Manchester with massive buildings, but Bedford Falls is a small town with two or three story wooden buildings. In the new section, the most notable difference is the mountain range. George considers the FNSM to be a fantasy world of model railroading. He doesn't try to capture any particular prototype locomotive or building. He goes for the overall effect with an exaggerated emphasis on detail. Actually, the railroad resembles what the 1930s would have looked like if designed by a talented model maker. Hi, I'm Alan Keller and this is George Selios, the man who has created the fabulous Franklin in South Manchester. Alan, welcome back to the FNSM. The layout is much larger than when you were here in 1988. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to seeing all the new work, George. Great. The Franklin and South Manchester was started in 1984, and when finished, it will be 23 by 42 feet. George uses flex track with a minimum radius of 30 inches. The FNSM is famous for the amount of fantastic detail George has lavished on it. When we did Great Model Railroads Volume 2, only the Manchester segment was finished. George had plans to build Dovertown, the Mountain Peninsula, and the final scene of Franklin. Well, now much of that is done. The last peninsula is still benchwork. Franklin will be built here. The middle peninsula has Bedford Falls and Fellsburg Yard. And on the first peninsula, Dovertown with its huge urban buildings is completed.